Okay, people, so the video hit its maximum size, and so of course it automatically stopped. I don't know how far we stopped off, but so that's what the pork chops look like. So you're supposed to about right before the potatoes and the broccoli are done, you uh, take the pork chops, you let them finish cooking off. It says about another one to two minutes. So it had five on the counter when I dropped it back in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook uh, two more minutes on that one side. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull them out and start getting ready to plate. All right. That, my people, that looks good. So I think what we're gonna do though, is we are going to go ahead and put the drizzle on that one, flip it over. See, I'm going to put it on that one, flip it over, and then just try and get Leave it in one more minute, and then we're going to go ahead and plate. So. All right, so pork chops are now ready. So let's go ahead and take them off. Cut the heat off. All right, people. So now, I want to take a look at what our roasted potatoes and broccoli are doing. Oh, man. Those things are looking and smelling delicious. I think those guys are already ready. So, let's go ahead and take it out. And let's see what it's going to look like on the plate. So, sorry about that, walk in front of the camera. Here we go, let's take another look real quick. And that, my friends, is what you call a nice meal. So, is that considered restaurant ready? Let's find out. So, I'm only gonna be tasting this because I'm actually taking one of these for work. And so I'll be plating actually both of these up. So I'll take one with definitely tomorrow for work. And then uh, maybe for dinner tomorrow. Or I'll save the other one. Oops, okay, so that's still at least some more. Now let's get some of these potatoes. So the little ones are definitely done, probably I'm not so sure if the big one is really completely done, but I'm thinking when I take it to work tomorrow, I can microwave it. Worst case scenario, scenario, we can do it. So let's go ahead and take this over to our prep station. All right, people. There you have it. Just look at it right there. So, that's what it looks like, that's their picture. That's what it looks like, and that's their picture. You gotta admit, it does look good. But, again, looks are nice, but the question is, what does it taste like? So, what do we go for first, huh? People, <laughs> I'm a meat eater. It's the reason why we're at the top of the food chain. All right, so let's take a look. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that, cooked right through. Mm. Now that's really good. Mm. That broccoli though, I'm telling you people, roasted broccoli is phenomenal. Whoa, oh, hot. Mmm, potatoes are nice and crispy. Thyme has got a really good flavor to it. Let's go ahead and take one more bite of the meat. Let's actually cut where the actual meat is. Look at that, you can see it cooked all the way through. Mmm, oh man. People, that glaze is really good. I'm definitely going to have to scrape that glaze out of the pan. So people, this is now my fourth meal from HelloFresh, and I can only tell you, you definitely cannot go wrong. So, go to my page, give me a like. First two extra people that uh, drop their email address in the comments that live in the States will definitely get a free invite for one week of HelloFresh, compliments of HelloFresh. Have a nice day.